Tony the Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review where I smoke it so you don't have to a lot of the time. So, today's review is this uh, Ave, well, Avenue Maria Holy Grail. And this is supposed to be a Churchill. There we go. Now, full disclosure here. I bought this the last time I went to Texas to a CI. And I think this is one of the cigars that I bought it from CI that at the time when I was smoking it, it was unsmokable. So if I open this one, it's still unsmokable. You know why? It's the same batch. Okay. So this cigar is 7 by 48 Churchill. Um, let's get some information there. The wrapper's Connecticut. The filler is Nicaraguan. The binder is San Andreas. Okay, so I think the price on this was um, 1250 or something like that. Hold on. 1250? Is it 1250? I'm gonna see if it's 1250 because I don't remember what I bought it for. No, it's $15. $15. MSRP is, is 17. All right, MSRP is 17. So there you go. The box is pretty cool, and that's what that got me, right? Because it's in this like a uh, gold box inside a white box inside a gold written thing with the band on it. So it, it did catch me kind of a little bit, and you know, it's got that design to it. But you know, these boxes are poorly made. You can see gaps. So it's like it's only for show. All right, so I gotta cut it open. I believe this is a lift box, so let's see if um, I remember it's a lift box. Let's lift it up, but I still wanna cut it through. There we go. I remember I just lift it. There we go. So this design is pretty cool because you kind of like you lift the cigar up like that. It's cool, but you know some people is not gonna know this and try to freaking pull this thing and never pulls open. So there we go. Not much of the box. That's it. Now the next thing is the cigar itself. Why did I choose a church to smoke today? I don't know. But I figure. These cigars are going to sit there forever if I don't touch them. <laughs> right? So, <clears throat> that's the look of the cigar. It looks pretty good, like I said. The design kind of got me a little bit. But you can see, like, production. Jesus, the cap is not even on there, really. All right. Let's cut it. Smoke it. Creamy cedar raisin from the smell of it. All right. All right. Draw surprising. Okay. Draw is okay. Okay. So light it up. No. No. I can't. I was going to do some holy music to sing it. But I'm not holy now. If anything I'm holy for, holy shit. Now, this thing is blended by AJ Fernandez. So, we'll see if um, it disappoints you or at least have some level of blending skills. Creamy. 
floral, cedary, with some bitterness at the end. That bitterness kind of reminds me of some sort of like a mineral-ish thing. It's almost like a latte. Yeah, that coffee bitterness with some creaminess to it. But it's just, it didn't get there. It's almost like. Yeah, it's very, it's, that bitter is quite strong. That bitter is quite strong. You know, it's like the tough row of a Crusader. What is the difference between a Crusader and the Paladin, huh? You they, in the video game, they're kind of like both the same, right? Crusader, Paladin. I guess Paladin had a better armor. It's better than a bucket on the head. Yeah, <laughs> you know, those bucket helmets. All right, so let me smoke through one third, see if this improves, because right now it's just bitter. You get, you get everything, but it's bitter. So, we'll see if it improves, gets sweeter, because the whole thing is bitter. I don't know. $15, $17. We will see about that. Be right back. One third of the way through, it got more floral, but that bitterness is still there. Cedar's still there. But that floral and the bitterness is just so overwhelming. That, I don't know, some people might like it, but I, for me, it's like, what the hell is with that? You know, what the, what the hell is with that? I don't know. It's not going to a good direction. I think it's going the wrong direction. It's like someone had the potential to be a paladin but went to the wrong guy changed class went to crusader well he went from a healer to a tank so it's kind of like kind of that kind of issue right here i don't know i don't particularly enjoy that bitterness some people might just not me right now eight dollars a cigar. Eight dollar cigar tastes like an eight dollar cigar, but there is a little bit of pepper coming up. There's a little bit burn to the retro hill, so we'll see if that changes in the halfway point or you know second third. Maybe it'll get better because the star just tastes like some flavor is about to come up. So maybe it's just the first third made the wrong direction. Go level up a little bit and boom. Hello there. Now we'll see. Hopefully that is get get. I'm not looking forward to it, but it is what it is. Why, why did I just turn really bright just now? Ooh. Holy lights. Hi, ah. Albert. Put some light for me. Put some light. Uh, you know. Okay. We'll be right. All right. So, it didn't get better. Still woodsy and bitter. I don't know why. Um, we still have that floral, though. Woodsy, bitter, floral. It didn't get better. I, I, if anything, I think it got worse. So, still eight dollar for me. Uh, here's the first band. It says Holy Grail. Uh, I'm not too sure if that's supposed to be some sort of emblem. That didn't make sense to me. And I think that's their logo. It says A and M together. So Ave Maria. Ave Maria. Um, yeah, I mean, this theme is okay. I'm okay with that. And there's a little bit of like kind of texture on the go. So it's okay. It's cool. You get that very, I, I would say it had that holy intricateness, but the cigar, ooh, I don't know. I don't really like it. I don't really like it. Eight bucks is because of all the design and everything already. So Finish last third, and we'll take a look at this top band, which has the most design, I think, you know. 
Could be good. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Last third is bad. Last third, at first you thought that little sweeter cedar note was coming back, a little bit floral. Um, it came back for about maybe four puffs, and then all kind of weird taste starts to come in, as if somebody just used a floor sweeping or something like that, makes you think that. There is weird taste in there. I'm not saying that they did, but holy shit is bad. At the last third, simply smelling that smoke, it smell like some sort of salty cedar corn. Just the smell. All right. And then I took a puff. That end note at times tastes like some sort of burning plastic. At times it tastes like a stinky foot. Like if you just wear shoes without socks for like an hour, that kind of smell. And then what the worst was at times it tastes like the smell of a dirty dog during a raining day. I don't know if you ever, like, you know, usually you have an indoor dog. They don't smell like anything. They go out, play for a little bit. They came back in the AC room. It's fine. And then all of a sudden it rained. Open the window and you smell your dog. Holy shit. That stinks. That's what it tastes like in the last third. I was like, huh? I, I really don't know what the hell happened in that last third. It's just, it stinks. It's horrible. I don't know how to describe it. It's bad. So it went from a $8 cigar to a $4 cigar. For me. I wouldn't buy this. Skip it completely. But. Credit how to do where the credit is due. The band. This band is pretty cool. This band is pretty cool. It's got all kind of design, all kind of like textures, and obviously the the uh, Crusader or a. Paladin wanna be with the trash bucket on the head. Pretty cool. He's got a, a, a armor. He's got everything except that bucket. Even though that bucket is probably correct, I'm just gonna call it a bucket. But yeah, it's got everything that kind of fit the theme and everything. Uh, yeah, this it's it's pretty holy. You know, it's like a holy knight, crusader, paladin with a bucket on top. I would usually show you how that would look like real life. I really don't want to put that trash bin on my head. So I'm not going to do that. But the bin, okay. But the cigar, skip it. Skip it. Personally, I'll skip majority of the thing that CI pump out. But this one, skip it. I taste it. It wasn't that good. They try everything. I think they, they focus everything on the design and the packaging, and they forgot about the cigar. And it's like, hey, we'll just put a cigar in there. Hey, AJ, get us a cigar that you can sell. We'll, we'll do this. That's what it feels like. So, it's unfortunate. I am not going to even knock that thing. I'm, this is where it's going to end. I did have to fix it one time. That one time roulette has, tastes pretty bad tastes pretty bad so yeah that's where we gotta end this i don't know if there's anybody that gave a good review on the cigar it's subpar for me for me right if you smoke any good boutique cigar and stuff like that this is probably one of the worst cigar that you ever taste 
one of them. Just depends on what you usually smoke. I cannot imagine anybody who's testing the cigar, testing the blend, and smoke that, and then get the bitterness, and then finally got to the last third, says, oh, this is a great cigar, because, you know, I love that stankiness. I, I, I can't imagine that, but if somebody does, power to them. Power to them. You will smoke those bad cigars for us, so we don't have to. Anyway, that's it for this particular cigar review. If you like it, subscribe, like, share, comment, do all that stuff. You know the drill. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next cigar review. And hopefully, it's better than this one. No, you know what? I know it's going to be better than this one. See you guys later. Bye, guys.